I believe that Natalie and Jeff are truly best friends. They have created a world for each other where they have no fears of anything and go to places that no one could imagine. Truthfully, I googled a lot of Maid of Honor speech examples and the one piece of advice I kept finding over and over again was to start off with a quote. And I think that their love is best described by Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss states, you know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. Today marks the start of Jeff and Natalie's incredible journey, which changes everyone involved for the better. Both Annette and Larry Mashaki gain an amazing son. Mia, a brother, Anna Giovanetti, a new grandson. Patty and Kenny also gain an equally amazing daughter, not to mention Michelle gains a sister and Ellie Schaefer gains a new granddaughter. These family members, and all of us, gain a new family unit, a new couple, a new journey. First of all, they a beautiful couple. Yay. Magical day, it's been a magical year really, ever since the engagement. It goes by much too fast though, much like life. And all you can do is really hope that they find the man of their dreams. And then it happens. They find this good looking, intelligent, polite gentleman that we can now proudly call our son-in-law, Jim Steinberg. Over the years, Natalie and Jeff's relationship, I've seen how happy she makes Jeff, and I slowly began to realize, I think she's gonna be the one. Sometimes they say when your best friend gets married, you might lose a friend, but with Jeff marrying Natalie, I'm gaining one. Do you, Arthur Jeffrey Steinberg, take Natalie Mushaki to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, so long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> now, Natalie, do you, Natalie Mashaki, take Arthur Jeffrey Steinberg to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, so long as you both shall live? I do. The engagement was really a surprise. I was giving Natalie a graduation party from dental hygienist school. And I was away with my friends and Jeff called up my husband and told him that he was going to propose to Natalie. And my daughter Mia and Larry went with Jeff to get Natalie's ring. And I planned this little, not little, 100 kid party and I didn't want to make a big place out of it or a big thing because it was all kids from school and I figured I'll locate it and my husband was on me about it. No, it's got to be this and we got to have better food and we got to do this. Never knowing Natalie was getting engaged. My neighbors knew, the whole place, the whole restaurant knew. When Nat he pulled out that ring and the way he gave that speech to Natalie, I will never forget it. It was beautiful. Jeff was uh, a fun child to have in the house. He was always been a fun person to be around, still is. He loved life, loved to experience different things, and uh, always just expressed himself. Getting to know him, I said, my God, what a nice guy. Oh my God, Natalie, he's just a wonderful person. And they went out on one date. She said, Mom, I'm going to the movies with that boy, Jeff. And I said, well, good, have a nice time. And since that day, they've been together. And Jeff is just an asset and we love him. And he's just wonderful and his family's wonderful. And he loves my daughter unconditionally. Jeff was very active, uh, athletic, funny, silly. Um, a wonderful little brother, and very social. I 
think his parents brought him up with all the values that you should be brought up as a gentleman once you grow and go on on your own. Jeff is very a hard worker and very independent. And I think that he turned out to be a wonderful gentleman. And he treats my daughter like a princess. Mother couldn't ask for anything more. When I met Natalie, she was very, very quiet, but friendly, and has blossomed into a young lady. Jeff sees that Natalie is a very caring person, and she's gorgeous, and we love her very much. Ah, <laughs> uh, Daddy. You like it? Yeah, you look beautiful. Look at her. Oh my God. Got him a Disney movie. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. That's from Natalie, Dad. You could probably need it right now. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, my glasses are. Oh. Thank you for walking by my side, not only today, but always. You're the first man I ever loved. As you give me away, you know that I'll always be your little girl. Thank you for being the best dad anyone could ever ask for. I love <laughs> Don't cry. Wait, I don't have makeup on. <laughs> oh. Man, I didn't know it was going to be like this. Like what? <laughs> I was waiting. It was like 11.20. I was pacing. And got my steps in for today, for sure. <laughs> Today, both Jeff and Natalie have chosen to publicly and solemnly devote their lives to each other. And make no mistake, they are meant to be together. Not just because Jeff and Natalie individually are amazing people, and not simply because they work well together, but because when they are together, an entire world of happiness surrounds them. It is an innate ability few couples have, and yet they emit happiness as easy as the sun emits light. Oh, I love this you. Oh. Good? Yeah, it's perfect. Everyone here knows the feeling. Just being around Jeff and Natalie turns any activity, gathering, or event into something more. More fun, more exciting, more enjoyable. And make no mistake, the happiness, joy, and jubilation that surrounds Jeff and Natalie is special. It changes the mundane to novelty, the boring to exciting, and makes any place Jeff and Natalie are together home. Jeff, today on our wedding day, I am reminded of all the reasons why and when I fell in love with you. Little did I know that was the start of the rest of my life. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. It has been 2,272 days since we got together. But of course, I wish I could turn back the clock, find you sooner, and have loved you longer. Your undeniable energy and enthusiasm for life has had an incredible impact on mine and many others. You truly light up every single room you walk in. I promise to appreciate you, challenge you, respect you, and support you as your best friend and now as your wife. I vow from this day on to continue loving you so deeply that the word love doesn't begin to explain it. I will work on you to create a marriage of teamwork, knowing that together we will create a life far better than either of us can imagine on our own. And when we choose to start a family, I promise to create a house filled with learning, laughter, and a Nintendo 64 <laughs> for the kids to play Mario Kart on. <laughs> I will care for you, grow with you, and stand with you by your side forever. I choose you for all of my yesterdays, especially my today, and all of my tomorrows. I love you. <laughs> That's great. Sorry. Natalie, you are my true soulmate. The past six years have been a roller coaster ride, and there is no one I would rather have by my side. You are the reason I get out of bed every morning. Well, Maya and Luna technically get me out of bed in the morning, but because of you, it's always with a smile. We have so much fun together. And I can't believe I'm the lucky one that has you forever. I could go on for days describing all of your unbelievable attributes, but I will keep it under three minutes because we have a lot of thirsty guests. <laughs> you are absolutely freaking stunning. <laughs> you are smart, kind, funny, weird, exciting, 
Passionate, loving, sweet, fun, strong, and absolutely freaking stunning. <laughs> You make every second of every day better for me, and I will spend the rest of my life trying to make you feel the same way. Today, in front of our thousand friends and family, <laughs> I vow to be by your side through thick and thin, sickness and health, richer or poorer. I vow to be the best husband that I can be, no matter what is happening in our lives. I vow to help you in any capacity, regardless of how big or small. I vow to kill any centipede, spider, or insect that scares you. I'm definitely bound to screw up at some point, but I vow to do my best to always make it right. I vow to make the best of any situation and always stay positive. I vow to push you to always be <laughs> the best that you can be. I vow to give you 90% of the bed, but I'm still not sure how that's possible. I vow to wash the dogs if you will dry them. I vow to skip workout once in a while to stay home and hang with you. I vow to be the best father to our kids, Clark Kent, Bruce Wayne, and Tony Stark's timer. <laughs> I, I vow to protect you at any and all costs. I vow to share my fries and always give you one bite of what I, whatever I am having. Everyone knows the rules. <laughs> I vow to be by your side and always have your back. I vow to floss more often. <laughs> I vow to always lend an ear and be the shoulder to cry on. I vow to love you unconditionally forever and always. May your bond of love be as difficult to break as it would be to put back together these pieces of glass. Day we brought you home. Yeah, we brought you home. Me was waiting by the door, along with a handful of loved ones that are no longer with us. And you came into our life and completed our beautiful family. And those are memories that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And I look at you today, this beautiful, vibrant, independent, sometimes too independent, obviously very happy woman, and just reinforces to me how truly blessed we are. Natalie and Jeff love animals. They have two wonderful dogs, Maya and Luna, who they love unconditionally. But Jeff would like to have a very large family and I do see them in the future having a lot of children, a lot of animals, giving them a lot of love. They're like the perfect couple. I knew Jeff was the real deal. The smile I've seen on Natalie's face all day today is the same smile I saw years ago when these two officially got together. I spent the last six years getting to know Jeff because I can be a protective big sister. And I want you to know that we love you, both my parents and I. And we are really excited for you to be part of our family. We are really blessed to have you and I feel extremely lucky to be gaining you as my brother. I can't lie, you know, a little bit when I think about today, you get a little sad, just how fast time goes. But then I think about all the beautiful experiences we have yet to come and I get over it. I don't have to tell the two of you, life can be tough. I mean, life will throw you a curveball once in a while. Both you have great heads on your shoulders. You're both well on your way professionally. You have the support of both your beautiful families. Patty, Kenny, wherever you are, thank you for being the classy, beautiful people that you are. I love you both more than you'll ever know. I couldn't be prouder of both of you more than you'll ever know. And everybody should experience the happiness that you two have. I love you.
So again, I'd like to thank the Mashakis and the Steinberts for this amazing wedding. And congratulations to Natalie and Jeff. I love you guys. Let's party! We laugh at inside jokes, have our own catchphrases, and understand each other's joys and pains. We start sentences with, remember when, and end our days with a chat on the phone. As kids, we fought and argued over everything, but as adults, we're the very, very, very best of friends. You are the one person I have always been able to count on, and I love you more with each year that passes. I see them in a loving relationship where they have a few kids and a big yard and a few more dogs. They're very family oriented and it's nice to see. I'm glad they're going to be living nearby. Since I started with a quote, I have to end with one. Now can we please all raise our glasses high in the air for this beautiful couple? Love is a friendship that has caught fire. May your love burn bright for many years to come. Here's to my best friend and her new best friend, Natalie and Jeff, I love you both so much. Natalie and Jeff, I love you both and I wish you nothing but happiness, love and health and may your marriage be as wonderful as your relationship is today, forever. And I love you. I'm so happy that Jeff and Natalie found each other, so Jeff will always have someone to wait for him while he's in the bathroom. And someone to tell him, you might not want to wear those sweatpants when we're going out to the bar. They're not all joggers, Jeff. Walking behind them. I think it is Jesus. 